Imagine a mouthful of chocolate, the rich velvety taste melting in your mouth. Deep in the lush rainforest of West Africa, farmers carefully harvest cacao pods, each filled with precious cocoa beans. These beans embark on a fascinating adventure, fermented under banana leaves, dried in the warm sun, and then shipped across oceans. In a factory, the beans are roasted, crushed, and transformed into silky liquid chocolate. Finally, with a touch of magic, this liquid gold is crafted into the bars and bonbons we all crave. Today, we're taking you on an incredible journey from the tropical cacao plantations to the chocolate treats we all love. Ever wondered how a simple cocoa bean transforms into your favorite chocolate bar? Let's find out. Before we start, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content about your favorite treats. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Cultivation of Cacao Trees Our journey into the world of chocolate begins in the vibrant cacao plantations of West Africa, where 70% of the world's cocoa is grown. The cultivation of cacao trees is a delicate process, requiring very specific conditions to thrive. Cacao trees, scientifically known as Theobroma cacao, flourish in a moist, shady environment. They need a temperature of at least 25 degrees Celsius and a humidity level of 80% or more. These trees also thrive with an annual rainfall of around 1,800 millimeters. Farmers play a crucial role in maintaining these conditions. They ensure that the trees are shaded by taller plants like banana or rubber trees, which provide the necessary cover and help retain moisture in the soil. The soil is regularly checked and kept moist as the cacao tree's shallow root system requires a consistent water supply. The ideal soil is well-drained and rich in organic matter, promoting healthy growth. Pollination is another vital aspect. Cacao trees produce tiny flowers that are pollinated by small insects like midges. Without these pollinators, the trees wouldn't produce the precious pods that contain the cocoa beans. Once pollinated, these flowers develop into pods over several months. The pods start green and turn yellow, orange, or red as they ripen, indicating they are ready for harvest. Harvesting. Harvesting cocoa is a meticulous process that begins when the cocoa pods reach full ripeness. Skilled workers traverse the plantation carefully examining each pod to ensure it's ready for harvest. Using traditional tools like machetes, they skillfully cut down the ripe cocoa pods, handling them with care to avoid damaging the delicate beans inside. Once harvested, the cocoa pods are collected in baskets, ready for the next stage of processing. This careful harvesting ensures the quality and integrity of the cocoa beans. With baskets filled with ripe cocoa pods, the journey continues as the harvest is transported to processing facilities. Here, the cocoa beans will undergo further steps to transform them into chocolate. Extracting cocoa beans. Inside each pod are cocoa beans wrapped in a sweet white pulp. These beans are carefully extracted, ensuring only the finest ones are kept for further processing. After extraction, the beans undergo sorting and inspection. Skilled workers meticulously examine each bean, ensuring only the highest quality ones move on to the next step of the process. To separate the beans from the flower shaft, a machete or club is used to gently break them apart. This process requires precision to avoid damaging the beans. Once separated, the cocoa beans are collected and prepared for the next stage of their journey. Bagged and ready, the cocoa beans are now prepared for fermentation a crucial step in developing the rich flavor and aroma. Fermentation. Fermentation is a crucial step in the journey of cocoa beans from the pod to the chocolate we love. Once the cacao pods are harvested and open, the beans, still surrounded by a sweet white pulp, undergo a natural transformation. The beans along with the surrounding pulp are spread out either on the ground or in wooden boxes. Here begins the magic of fermentation. The beans are covered with banana leaves, initiating a two-step process. 
First, ethanol fermentation takes place, where the absence of oxygen causes the beans to release heat and carbon dioxide, creating a warm, oxygen-free environment. Next, acetic acid fermentation begins as the beans are stirred. This step allows oxygen to enter, resulting in the development of unique flavors and aromas. The careful balance of oxygen, temperature, in time during fermentation is essential. It is this process that gives cocoa beans their characteristic chocolatey aroma and flavor. Drying. Drying the cocoa beans is essential to halt the fermentation process and prepare them for shipping to chocolate manufacturing plants around the world. Traditionally, the beans are spread out on wooden decks, allowing them to be exposed to the sun's warmth and air. This process helps to reduce the moisture content in the beans to less than 7%, ensuring they remain stable during transport and storage. Under the gentle warmth of the sun, the cocoa beans gradually lose moisture, a process that typically takes several days. As the beans dry, they undergo subtle changes in flavor and aroma, contributing to the unique characteristics of the final chocolate product. Throughout the drying process, workers carefully inspect and turn the beans to ensure even drying and prevent mold or spoilage. Attention to detail is crucial at this stage to maintain the quality of the cocoa beans. Once the beans have reached the optimal moisture level, they are carefully collected and packed into sacks for transportation. Bagging and shipping. Once the cocoa beans have been thoroughly dried, the next step is bagging and shipping. Workers meticulously check the beans for any foreign matter or impurities before they are packed. Once steam pure, the beans are securely packed into large sacks ready for transportation. These sacks are then loaded onto trucks where they will begin their journey to chocolate manufacturing plants around the world. Cleaning. After the initial manual cleaning by harvesters, cocoa beans undergo a screening and filtering process to ensure purity. Debris, stones, and twigs are removed from the beans to ensure only the highest quality beans proceed to the next stage of processing. The beans move along a conveyor belt, passing through a series of cleaning equipment. These machines effectively remove any remaining impurities, ensuring that only clean beans are used in the chocolate making process. To further prepare the beans for processing, they are heated in a micronized revolving drum. This process helps to loosen the hard shells surrounding the beans, making them easier to handle in subsequent stages. Quality inspection. Before packaging, the clean cocoa beans undergo a final quality inspection. This ensures that only the finest beans, free from any contaminants, are used to create the delicious chocolate products. A team of sensory analysts with specialized knowledge carefully examines the beans. They perform a taste analysis to confirm the bean's premium quality. Each bean is scrutinized for its aroma, flavor, and texture. Any deviation from the desired standards is noted and addressed. Only beans meeting the stringent quality criteria proceed to the next stage of chocolate production. Those that don't make the cut are discarded or sent for further processing. Accurate record keeping ensures traceability and quality control throughout the manufacturing process. This attention to detail guarantees that only the finest beans contribute to the making of exquisite chocolates. Crushing. The crushing process involves rupturing the shells of the cocoa beans, revealing the valuable nibs within. This step is essential for accessing the rich flavors and aromas locked inside each bean. As the beans pass through the crushing machine, they are gently cracked open, allowing the nibs to be separated from the shells. This delicate process requires precision to ensure the integrity of the nibs. Once crushed, the cocoa beans undergo winnowing, where the lighter shell fragments are separated from the heavier nibs. This ensures that only the pure cocoa nibs continue to the next stage of processing. What we're left with are the pure cocoa nibs, rich in flavor and aroma. These nibs are the building blocks of chocolate containing the essence of the cocoa bean. Roasting. 
Inside the roasting machine, the cocoa beans undergo a transformation. They're gently heated by hot air, allowing their natural oils to develop and intensify. As the beans roast, they darken in color, turning from pale to deep brown. The air fills with a tantalizing aroma, signaling that the flavors are reaching their peak. Precision is key during roasting. Technicians carefully monitor the temperature and duration, ensuring that each batch of beans is roasted to perfection. Once roasted, the beans are gently poured onto a cooling tray. Here they release a satisfying crackle as they cool, signaling that they're ready for the next stage of the chocolate making journey. Blending. Blending plays a crucial role in creating the unique aroma and flavor of chocolate. Once the cocoa beans have been crushed into nibs, they're ready to be blended with other ingredients. This process is where the magic happens. The nibs are mixed with cocoa butter, sugar, and milk powder if making milk chocolate. The combination creates a thick, cake-like batter that forms the base of our chocolate. As the ingredients blend, the aroma of chocolate fills the air, promising the delicious taste that's to come. The blending process ensures that all the flavors mix together seamlessly, creating a harmonious taste profile. Once the blending is complete, we have a smooth, homogeneous paste ready to be further processed. But even though the flavor is starting to develop, the mixture still needs some refinement to achieve the perfect texture. Next, the paste is transferred to a refining machine where it undergoes further grinding and refining to ensure a silky smooth texture. This refining step is crucial for achieving the desired consistency and mouthfeel of the chocolate. Through blending and refining, the cocoa beans transform from simple ingredients into the treat we all love. Each step of the process is essential in creating chocolate that delights the senses and brings joy to every bite. Conching. Conching involves a surface scraping mixer and agitator, known as a conch, evenly distributing cocoa butter within the chocolate. First, we have dry conching, where frictional heat warms the product, promoting liquefaction. This step is essential for achieving the desired consistency and aroma. Next, we move to liquid conching, where the entire product is homogenized. This process not only ensures a smooth texture, but also reduces acidity and water content to less than 1%. Additionally, cocoa butter may be added to adjust viscosity, striking a delicate balance to meet specific requirements. Whether it's chocolate chips or a thin coating, precision is key. Throughout conching, the chocolate undergoes a gradual transformation, evolving from a coarse mixture to a velvety, smooth consistency. This meticulous process is what gives chocolate its signature richness and mouthfeel. Tempering. During tempering, the chocolate is heated, cooled, and then gently reheated to specific temperatures. This process aligns the cocoa butter crystals in the chocolate, resulting in a stable crystalline structure. Once tempered, the chocolate can be poured into molds, creating beautifully glossy and evenly textured chocolate bars, bonbons, or decorations. The tempered chocolate will set at room temperature, resulting in a satisfying snap and glossy finish. Making praline chocolates. Praline chocolates are a symphony of flavors often filled with caramel, nuts, and other delightful surprises. The process begins with the creation of the filling. First, a rich caramel is made by mixing sugar and water, then boiling it down to the desired consistency. This golden syrup adds sweetness and a touch of indulgence to the praline. Meanwhile, nuts like almonds and hazelnuts are carefully roasted to enhance their flavors. Then they're chopped into fine pieces, ready to be folded into the caramel. Next, the caramel and nuts are combined, creating a luscious filling that's both crunchy and creamy. This mixture is the heart of the praline, adding texture and depth to every bite. As the filling is prepared, chocolate molds are meticulously cleaned and prepared for the next step. Each mold is a canvas waiting to be filled with deliciousness. With precision and care, the caramel nut filling is spooned into the waiting molds, ensuring each one is filled to perfection. Now comes the moment of magic, 
Liquid chocolate, tempered to perfection, is poured over the filled molds, encasing the caramel nut filling in a rich chocolate shell. To ensure a flawless finish, the molds are gently tapped to release any trapped air bubbles, ensuring the chocolates emerge smooth and shiny. Once filled and sealed, the chocolates journey through a cooling tunnel where they're allowed to set and firm up. This crucial step ensures the chocolates maintain their shape and texture. Finally, the praline chocolates are carefully removed from their molds, ready to delight chocolate lovers around the world. Each one is a work of art, handcrafted with love and attention to detail. Coating and decoration. Now let's dive into the delicious world of coating and decoration. Once our chocolates are ready, it's time to make them even more irresistible. First, the filling is prepared and added to the chocolates. Whether it's creamy caramel, nutty praline, or fruity ganache, each filling adds a burst of flavor. Next, the chocolates are coated with a layer of luscious chocolate. This not only seals in the filling, but also adds an extra layer of richness. After coating, the chocolates are cooled to perfection. This helps the chocolate set and ensures a smooth, glossy finish. Now comes the fun part, decoration. Skilled chocolatiers use various techniques to make each chocolate a work of art. Some chocolates are hand decorated with delicate designs, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication. Others are drizzled with contrasting chocolate, creating a visually stunning effect. And for a touch of luxury, some chocolates are dusted with edible gold or shimmering dust making them truly decadent. And that's how chocolate is made. From a humble cocoa bean to the delightful treat we all love, every step is a labor of love. Click on one of the videos on your screen to explore more fascinating How It's Made episodes, and we'll catch you in the next one.